వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ కెమ్ టైమ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ టుడే హిట్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ డిజైన్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ మెథడ్స్ పార్ట్ టు పార్ట్ వన్ వాస్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ మై ప్రీవియస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఐ స్టార్ట్ ద ప్రజెంటేషన్ బై హైలైటింగ్ ద ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ టుడే దట్ ఈస్ సెవెంటీన్త్ మే ఆన్ సెవెంటీన్త్ మే సెవెంటీన్ ఫార్టీ నైన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఫిజిషియన్ అండ్ సర్జన్ Edward Jenner was born and Sir is also known as father of immunology and he was the one to develop first successful vaccination. Sir also used the word virus for the first time. Coming to the presentation, this presentation is useful to chemical, mechanical, agriculture and petroleum engineering students. The problems we have taken are helpful in understanding the concepts of a heat transfer and third year mechanical engineering students under JNT UK are shortly going to write the examination on heat transfer and these concepts are helpful to them. I have taken a problem for using graphical solutions for calculating the heat transfer area. based on lmtd method and i also taken one more problem on ntu method by graphic and using graphical solutions and finally i gave one problem for uh, students uh, which is given in jnt uk r16 2009 i have also given some dimensionless groups which i request all the viewers to match coming to the gate problem the problem is a process fluid has to be cooled from 22 degree centigrade to 2 degree centigrade using brine in a 2-4 shell and tube heat exchanger shown below. The brine enters at minus 3 degree centigrade and leaves at 7 degree centigrade. The overall heat transfer quotient is 500 watts per meter square Kelvin. The design heat load is 30 kilowatts. The brine flows on the tube side and process fluid on the shell side. Few go back to our previous presentation we have been highlighting the fact that the process fluid will be on the shell side and the utility fluid has to be on the tube side and in this particular problem the utility fluid is brine the gate question paper gives this table the graph rather and this configuration also for solving this problem this graph is available in the textbook heat and mass transfer data book by cp kothanta raman and if the same problem is asked as chain tuk question paper we have to use the heat transfer data book for solving this problem now coming to the problem first and foremost thing is why do we go for 2 4 shell and tube pass this is required if the calculated pressure drop is less than the available pressure drop we have to go for multi pass to increase the heat transfer coefficient and to effectively utilize the available pressure drop now in this particular configuration that is given they have mentioned capital t1 capital t2 small t1 and small t2 and we have to identify all these four what does capital t1 refer to what does capital t2 refer to what does small t1 refer to all the small t2 refer to the process fluid enters at 22 degree centigrade so hot fluid is at 22 that is capital t1 is 22 and it is leaves at 2 degree centigrade so capital t2 is 2 degree centigrade the cold fluid the brine enters at minus 3 degree centigrade so t1 will be minus 3 degree centigrade and it leaves at t2 that is 7 degree centigrade so t2 is equal to 7 degree centigrade with this understanding we can calculate the logarithmic mean temperature difference that is delta t2 minus delta t1 by ln delta t2 by delta t1 and delta t2 is this end difference that is 22 minus 7 and delta t1 is this end difference that is 2 minus minus 3 so with this the lmtd is calculated as 15 minus 5 by ln 15 by 5 9.1 but In case of multi-pass heat exchanger, 
we have to apply correction factor and the correction factor has to come from this graph which is drawn for the correction factor versus p and for different os what is p and what is or p is defined as small t2 minus small t1 by capital t1 minus small t1 and r is capital t1 minus capital t2 by small t2 minus small t1 and p and r if the temperature is given can be calculated p is 0.4 and r is 2 and this helps in applying the correction factor to lmtd to use this graph at p is equal to 0.4 draw a vertical line such that it meets the curves these curves are r curves so in this case r is 2 so draw vertically up so as to meet the r is equal to 2 curve from the intersection point draw a horizontal line so as to meet the ft the correction factor and in this case 0.9 any correction factor greater than 0.875 is acceptable in designing the heat exchanger so with this the corrected lmtd is the correction factor into lmtd that is calculated that is 8.2 degree centigrade the heat transfer rate is 30 kilowatts that is 30 kilojoules per second that is 30000 joules per second the heat transfer quotient is u 100 joules per second meter square kelvin and with this we can calculate the uh, heat transfer area as q is equal to u lmtd corrected and q is 30000 joules per second u is 500 joules per second meter square degree centigrade and a has to be calculated and lmtd corrected is 8 point with this the area of heat transfer is 7.32 meter square now coming to the second problem this is based on the ntu method number of transfer units method and in this we have taken a problem where a counter current flow heat exchanger has a overall heat transfer quotient of 225 watts per meter square kelvin and surface area 33 meter square the hot fluid specific heat 3.56 kilojoules per kg kelvin enters at 90 degrees centigrade and flows at 2.52 kgs per second the cold fluid is specific heat is 1.67 kilojoules per kg kelvin enters at 16 and flows at a rate of 2.27 kgs per second determine the rate of heat transfer this problem is asked in jnt uk r16 number 19 question paper the first and foremost thing as we have discussed earlier to calculate the to write the formula for effectiveness factor that is q by q max and as we discussed earlier q max is c minimum that is the minimum of capacity rates between the hot and cold fluid into thn that is hot fluid inlet temperature minus cold fluid inlet temperature here first and uh, as we mentioned we need to calculate use the graph the graph is between ntu for different c minimum by c max again and that gives the effectiveness factor so we need to calculate ntu and ntu is calculated as ua by c minimum in this problem u and a are given while if you go back to previous video where u and a are not given so with u is 225 watts per meter square kelvin and a 33 meter square and c minimum has to be calculated and c minimum between the hot fluid and cold fluid is calculated as hot fluid capacity rate 2.52 kgs per second into 3.56 kilojoules per kg kelvin that is 8.7 kilojoules per second kelvin that is 8970 watts per kelvin for cold fluid it is 3790 watts per kelvin and but comparing the Cmax and sorry the hot fluid capacity rate and cold fluid capacity rate, we will end up getting C minimum as 3790 watts per Kelvin. We also need here while solving the problem the ratio of C minimum to C max that is 3790 by 8970.4. And U is 225 watts per meter square Kelvin and A is 33. With this, the NTU can be calculated as 225 watts per meter square kelvin into 33 meter square by 3790 uh, watts per kelvin that is n2 is 1.9 for other. so c minimum by c max is 0.4 coming to the graphs these graphs are available for parallel flow as well as counter flow and for counter flow this is available in 
Heat and Mass Transfer Data Book by C. P. Kothandraman, 10th edition, page 175. Locate NTU, that is 1.85, 1.95 rather. Draw a vertical line so as to meet C minimum by C max. And from that point, draw a horizontal line so as to meet the effectiveness. And in this particular case, the effectiveness factor is 0.8. Since effectiveness factor is defined as Q by Q max and Q max as we discussed in our previous presentations as C minimum into TH in minus TC in and that works out to be 295620 watts which gives Q as 2346496 watts that is 236.49 kilowatts. So next coming to the problem which we request all the viewers to solve and as submit as uh, uh, comment section in industry 0.6 kgs per second of oil of specific heat 2.5 kilojoules per kg kelvin is to be cooled in a counter current flow heat exchanger from 110 degrees centigrade to 35 degrees centigrade by use of water entering at 20 degrees centigrade the overall heat transfer quotient is 1500 watts per meter square kelvin and presuming the exit temperature should not exceed 80 degrees centigrade. Using NTU method, calculate the cold water flow rate, effectiveness factor and heat transfer area. This problem is asked in JNTUK R16 number 19. We also given some match the following dimensionless groups. A, B, C, A is Reynolds number, B is Prandtl number, C is Nusselt number. And one is momentum diffusivity by thermal diffusivity. Two is rate of heat transfer by convection by rate of heat transfer by conduction. Three, inertial forces by viscous force. The reason for giving these numbers are, these numbers are subsequently used for calculating the individual heat transfer coefficients. And these individual heat transfer coefficients will be subsequently used for calculation of overall heat transfer coefficient. As per the comments received in the comment section of the channel and also inputs received from senior people, we felt it necessary to discuss the concepts related to thermodynamics and also to highlight the difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer. We will be focusing our next videos on thermodynamics. First you to like, share and subscribe my channel.